a presentation should only take about 45 minutes. So no, no problem, no problem at all. Okay. Yep. As you said, Tim Fisher. Um, thanks. Uh, thanks a lot for inviting me to, to be here. I helped organize the, the first one last year, and actually started to help organize this one before uh, leaving to join M1. Let's see, that's a picture of our new uh, rail ship. Basically, what I'm going to do is show a bunch of pictures because we've been talking about this project for so many years. We'll have some some pictures to. Uh, but I'll add some commentary as well. Um, so M1 Rail, we're a nonprofit organization formed to construct and, and operate a, a streetcar line on Woodward Avenue in Detroit. That is our office right down, right down the corridor. Streetcars are not new to Detroit. About 100 years ago, the city had over 900 of them. And about 60 years ago, the last ones, known as the, the Woodward Line, uh, made the last and, and final trip down Woodward Avenue. And just a couple of weeks, that's a bad picture, sorry about that, but just a, just a couple of weeks ago uh, during construction, we uncovered uh, the rails at the last one. So, basically, in 1930, in front of Comerica Park, um, center, running, center running streetcar tracks. Streetcars are making a comeback both here and around the country. Cities across the, the U.S. are uh, reevaluating the benefit. I, now I see that I can see this over here. So it's uh, okay. Portland was one of the first to, to reintroduce the, the modern streetcar in 2001, and uh, we have have uh, projects in development in a handful of other cities across the U.S. I think ten or twelve. Three are coming online this year or recently. Recently, have um, this one. It's supposed to move. Okay, this thing never works, but it's really cool. If it, I'll just describe it. Uh, if it did work, you would. You know, we'd take a nice little tour up and down, up and down the route. It's uh, three three point three miles long. Runs basically from from the river that's uh, right about here, the Detroit River, up through past the, the Stadia, uh, Foxtown, Midtown, New Center, the Amtrak, next to the Amtrak station, and just a little bit beyond Grand Boulevard. We'll have 20 stations in, in 12 different locations, and the, the station design process is, is underway. They won't look like this, so you got to take in pictures. Don't, uh, don't publish those anywhere, that's just basically kind of a generic layout uh, that'll have art and, and reflect the character of the, the communities that we're passing through. Uh, you know, station components, um, on-site ticket vending machines, message boards, security cameras, lights, kind of standard standard elements. Um, the, the, the platforms will be level with the, um, with the car floor. So wheelchairs can easily just roll right on. We'll have space on board for bike parking as well. The cars, and, and this is just a sample of a, of a modern streetcar. This is not what uh, we will have. We have narrowed it down to two vendors, and I'm not going to make that announcement today, but uh, we'll, make it, we'll make it soon. Um, it runs in traffic, um, stops at light, obeys the, the speed limit. There's a driver. Uh, he'll, you know, he or she will will ride it uh, to the southern or northern terminus, um, stand up, walk to the other end of the car, and then drive it back the other the other direction, in the other lane. Um, wireless internet uh, as well. So why are we building this? Transit is is more than just about getting around. Um, it maps a, a city's priorities, uh, creating opportunities and a future for neighborhoods. It's about economic and, and social mobility. And M1 will connect downtown to Midtown, Midtown to New Center, New Center to the North End. How are we doing this? Um, what what we're doing is is unprecedented. unprecedented. In 2013, that's a picture of the former Secretary of Transportation, Ray LaHood, 
and he said that this project is, is going to be in the history books. Uh, this will become an economic engine, this corridor. It'll help get people back and forth to work for their doctor's appointments. It'll help common, ordinary citizens. And we think he's, he's right, and, and so do our funders. There's, there's a list of, of most of them are funders and, and partners. Um, it's a, uh, the private and philanthropic organization of, organizations have pledged millions, over $100 million at this point. Enough money to get the, the, the federal government uh, interested in, 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 in picking up the rest of the, the tab. And we understand it's the first time in, in history where, where this type of public-private uh, philanthropic um, uh, project has, has come about. This area of, of Detroit on Woodward Avenue, it's, it's ripe for uh, growth, and, we'll, and, and this project is, is, is a key piece of, of, the, of, the, of the growth uh, in the neighborhoods and the small businesses and, and cottage industries along the corridor. We're not a real estate firm. We're not doing the development as M1. Uh, um, you know the the growth and the opportunity will come through, you know the uh, people who are building transit oriented development uh, projects along along the route which we will uh, serve. That one is supposed to move around as well. Um, anyway, this would if it did move, you would see the the people movers down here. We connect to the people mover a couple of times um, across. Crosstown buses at Warren and then the, the Amtrak uh, station farther north. So we'll have, we'll have stations and, and, and convenient connections to, to these different systems. And so now some construction pictures. So we started uh, construction right in front of our office uh, last month. And we've, uh, we've continued on, let's see. So this is this is a shot of downtown, the first part of construction um, from Grand Circus Park to just north of, of Campus Martius. That's a, a shot. We're doing both sides of the, the street at the same time in the downtown in the downtown area, um, the, the north south. Uh, Woodward Avenue is is completely closed except for the cross streets in the in the downtown area, and the the northern couple of, of miles of the rest of it, those lanes will be we will be open. There'll be just partial close closures as as we go forward. So again, the the cross streets are are open for for the work. Um, sidewalks remain open. You know, shot of pedestrian fences. The businesses. Um, really, they did not want uh, chain link fences with scrims uh, fencing them off from the world. So we we rethought we rethought that and have these kind of bicycle barricades in the downtown area. So it still you still have a, a good uh, urban the urban fabric is still there, and you can clearly see what's going on. And you can take a look at the construction. So those of you who's going on the tour tomorrow. You shouldn't. So we'll we'll walk we'll walk some of the route, and you'll you'll be able to see right through some of the changes. But uh, uh, pedestrian bridges, we have these temporary bridges that go over the, the track slab uh, as well. So we're doing this. This uh, most of the the route is on a state trunk line, and so friends at M dot, there there are a few of you in the room. Clearly, couldn't have done this without without MDOT's uh, you know, significant help in this project um, at every level. Um, but part of part of what we're doing at the same time is is uh, we're doing two bridges: one over 94 and one over 75. Um, half of it, half of it. And that's from a couple of weeks ago. And if that worked, oh yeah. Too bad. That was a really cool thing. We had a, a, a drone camera, so it's on these, you know, basically three little helicopters with the camera that flies, flies over. Anyway, um, <laughs> well, maybe we'll try to do it tomorrow at the at the office. 
Uh, so you can keep in touch. Visit us at, at the website. Let's see if that is there. You can, we're doing a, a weekly update where we're updating on construction progress, what's, what's happening, a bunch of, bunch of pictures, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, etc. Thank you.